Hello, today I will show you a spring generator that I have created in uh, uh, Solid Python. I have also upstreamed it, so I have made a push request, so hopefully it will be merged in master soon. So let's try it. Oh, look, we got a spring. And we have some parameters we can use. We can choose the radius of the wire. Choose the pitch. And huh? ah, whoops. And we can also specify the length. And we can of course specify the radius of the entire spring. Yeah. So that's about it. Now I will show you what I've used it for. You might remember this. It's the open Serious Elastic Actuator that I'm working on. This have the 3D printed spring. And now I can do like this. And we get one with real mechanical springs. That's from steel, spring steel uh, instead. And it have a bit better mechanical properties than the 3D printed one. It will probably hold a lot better. There is of course still some issues with this design. I need to add some supports to the, these yellow attachments and so on. But in general, I'm starting to be quite satisfied with it. I've also removed the bearing from here for now. It will probably need something to add because the screw rod in the middle will rotate a lot and it will probably wear out the plastic quite fast. Uh, but yeah, good enough for now. I've also made it a little bit more parametric and uh, added some cool stuff like you can now move the sled forwards and back. Uh, let's move it back like this. And then we can put it in the middle again. And then you can change parameters. So say that you want uh, have a different size of spring say that you have a longer spring, then you just specify the spring length, and then rebuild, and then you get a longer part. Uh, and then also you, should, you can also add and uh, change the, uh, what is it called, it's the linear elements here, the rail that's, that it's going on. You can decrease it and uh, all the holes and clearance should follow. So it's starting to be quite parametric and you can of course change the middle wire here as well, uh, the, the screw rod as well here in the middle. So and uh, of course I've also 3D printed it. Here you can see the new motor attachment. As I said before, I should add some kind of support here because it's flexing in the corners a bit. But here the motor is attached directly to the plastic. We'll see how that will hold later on when I start getting the motor to run properly. Uh, mold designs I've attached it, it attached the cross that came with the motor. So you can see here of hole holes where the cross have gone out, so it it's, will distribute the load a lot better. Uh, and the old one is the most stable, I think, even though it doesn't have supports. And here is from the upside, here you can see the 3D printer spring, and here you can see the 
the new design. And uh, you can see I have a bearing in here. And uh, those top three are made with FreeCAD and the bottom one is made with uh, Solid Python and OpenSCAD. Uh, here's the same image from another angle. And yeah, here's a comparison between the two designs. So it's parametric, you can choose whatever you want. And you can, you can tune the parameters to fit your needs. It's available online right now.